hello welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm bringing to you one of my favorite dessert recipes what am i talking about i'm talking about the pancake or the crepes as some of you might call it without wasting time let's just get started So I've got my cylindrical mixing container over here. I'll just go ahead and break in three medium-sized eggs. I'll come in with 400 milliliters of full cream milk. If you've got skimmed milk, you can use that as well. A pinch of salt to taste. About four tablespoonful of sugar. Some vanilla essence to taste. Next, I'll come in with about two tablespoonful of cornstarch. Then I'll add three tablespoonful of all peppers flour. Starch helps it become softer. I'll come in with my hand mixer and I'll just whip everything up. We're going for a very light consistency over here. So after mixing for about two minutes, this is what we have here. And as you can see, it's on the watery side. So basically I'll leave this alone for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'll put a pan on fire and just brush in a little bit of oil. We're doing this on medium flame. When the oil is warm enough, I will come in with one ladle of my mixture. I'll give it a little swirl to distribute it evenly. I'll let this cook for 30 seconds on one side, then flip it over and let it cook for another 30 seconds on the other side. Through this process till I run out of the mixture. very important thing over here if you get it out of the pan just put it on a plate and cover it up with another plate this will help trap in the moisture and retain the softness after frying everything this is what we have here as you can see they are thin they are super soft and i tell you they are so delicious so here i would like to come in with some pistachio butter cream so with the help of my fork i'll just sprinkle some strips on the pancakes ladies and gentlemen these are so delicious you definitely need to give them a try this is a great sunday morning breakfast and kids love it adults love it i must say you can make so many of these keep them in the fridge or in the freezer Whenever you feel like eating them, just get them out and heat them up in the microwave and it tastes as good as new. So that is it and I hope I did help you. I hope you are going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I'm going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye.